Yeah, I mean, like, as long as I can remember, I can remember everything on the radio, things like that, for some reason. With every genre, there's been, like, this separation, where it's like some people have went purely digital, and some people stick purely vinyl. Like, it's not necessarily a format purist-type store. I'll never release something digitally unless it's purely promo. It's like, that's just not the way I feel about stuff. You know, it's like, it should always be, like, connected to something that, you know, is a physical release. And it's like, yeah, some people are going to buy it digital, and that's good enough for them. You know, but somehow I think even for them, it's important that there's, like, something you know, kind of artifact-wise that it kind of comes back to. It's like kind of a human mental lock on how art, art exists or something like that. You know, in places where there are no record stores, I'm sure Discogs is the only avenue. I know of people this way. It's like, you know, like I send really unusual music to people in very unusual places. I constantly wonder how they all they even heard about it. You know, if it weren't for, like, the conduit of discogs it's like how would that ever be connected between like a record store and, and some guy in west virginia who wants a randy barracuda record.